Welcome back to our Java Dice Poker game. Um, in our last session we created a die class and we created a runner for it where we instantiated an instance of the die, we then rolled the die, and we printed out our results and everything was working fine. Um, in this video we're going to create a hand for our poker game using five die. And if, you, if you're not familiar with um, which hand beats another hand, you should look up the poker rules. But basically, if you have, of course, if you have, um, you might have two ones and therefore you have a pair, or you might have two threes and you have a pair. You might have three of a kind, such as three threes or three fives, and then you might have a single of two other digits. Um, so go out and familiarize yourself with which poker hands beat other poker hands. All right, now we could make this, we could make our five die by instantiating a new die each time. In other words, saying die, die one is equal to new die, and then doing die two. And also rolling each die. So we want to roll die one. And then what we want to do is we could do this five times where we have die one, die two, roll die two, and then do another time for die three. And die four and die five. But this is a little cumbersome. We can do this much simply by um, using a loop and rolling and actually doing rolling the same die five times. Because when you instantiate five different classes, you're using up memory space and to create um, five different classes and so therefore we want to try to make our code as efficient as possible. So this is not the best way to do this. So we're just going to go and comment this out. And also if we follow um, object-oriented design principles we want to create a class for our basic object which is the dice and then we want to create another class that uses the die um, to create our hand. So what we're going to do is create a new file and call it dot dice hand. So we'll say public class dice hand. And now we want to extend die because so dice hand inherits from die. So that we can um, see the values in, in the die hand. And so then we're going to need an um, area for our fields, area for our constructors, assessors, and mutators, and our methods. So we'll need to have a variable that holds the value of the dice hand. I'm, no, I'm sorry, let's skip that for right now. Um, all right, so when we create our hand, let's go ahead and do the structure. When we create our dice hand, we are going to just go ahead and uh, again roll the dice hand. And then let's go ahead down here and create the method for our dice hand. So we're going to say public void roll dice hand. And then we're going to use a loop to go through and add each die roll to a variable to an array called dice hand. So let's go up here and create an array for dice hand. 
So we're going to say private int and then open and close brackets for an array. Now this is an array, not an array list. That's why we use the brackets. And we'll say new int and then we want the size, declare the size of our array. And we want it to hold five different die rolls. So once we have that, we can use it in our method roll dice hand. So we can say for int x is equal to zero as long as x is less than our array called dice hand. And then we use length for an array. And for an array list, we use um, dot size. But, so we're going to say x plus plus. And then we're going to call super to, so that we can look in our parent class, which is die, and we're going to look for its role method. So we're going to call the role die method in the die class. And then what we need to do is add that role to our dice hand. So we see dice hand at x is equal to super dot get face value. Because we had that getter method in our die class that returns the face value for us. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. And we can then go back to our constructor and check out our role if our, our method is actually working. So we can go into Dice Poker and now we can create we can create a um, Dice Hand class. I mean, I'm sorry. Cre yeah, create an instance of Dice Hand. So Dice Hand Hand one is equal to new dice hand and then we want to roll that hand so we say dice hand uh, hand one dot what do we call the method roll dice hand And then we'll go ahead and just print that out. And it says Oh, it's not letting me use void because... Okay, so I'm going to have to add my two string to the dice hand. Well, what we can do is um, we can make this a string and then we can say um, string result is equal to an empty string and then every time we roll the dice we want to roll it, add it to the All right, instead of um, adding the string here we're going to make a separate method to then print out the dice hand so we'll turn this back to void. And then we'll create a, a method to print out. So we'll say public string um, hit dice hand. Or we'll say, we can say print. And then what we want to do is um, string result is equal to a blank 
and then we want to walk through the dice hand. So we'll say for int x is equal to zero. Well, um, as long as x is less than the dice hand dot length, count up. And then we're going to, it's going to be result is e plus equals um, dice hand at x. And then if we want to, um, we can, we need to return result. So let's check this. So now our result is blank. The first time through, we're going to add dice hand at x and we've already rolled it so it's going to attain that face value and then if we want to add a tab in between um, each of these rolls we can use an escape sequence for tab And we can also um, we can go and say dice hand colon, and then that's going to start the string, and then it's going to add. So first time through result is dice hand, and then we're adding um, the actual value. We're adding a tab, and then the next time through we're not adding dice hand, but we're adding another value and we're adding tab. So that should do it. Let's test it. Go ahead and save. We'll go to Dice Poker. And then what we'll do is um, print Dice Hand. And there you can see we get the die roll. And if we roll again, you can see that we're getting five different rolls. So you can see we've got two pair in this roll, two threes and two fives. So in the next video, we're going to um, show, you, show you how to evaluate the dice hand to determine um, if they have a full house, a pair, three of a kind, etc. So see you next time.